He wants to take his wife on a romantic date, but things soon take a wild turn. We'll see what happens next in today's recap, Date Night. Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Now let's get into the video. The film starts in a suburban home where Claire and Phil are jolted awake by their kids. Just like every morning, Claire is busy making breakfast for everyone while Phil is trying to help her. It's really stressful for Claire, but she puts up with it every morning. Phil works as an accountant who helps people with their taxes. Claire, on the other hand, is a realtor. In the evening, Phil returns home and his babysitter reminds him that it's date night. They're both tired, but Phil still wants to take Claire out, so they go to a local restaurant. They always come here, and every time they look at other couples and make imaginary stories about them. Looking around, they notice a couple who's getting intimate, and this intimacy makes them jealous. After coming back home, they think about making love, but they have lost their passion, so they just decide to go to bed. The next week, they are attending a book club meeting, where Phil's having a drink with his friend, when he learns that his friend is getting divorced. This is shocking news for Phil, who never thought his friend was unhappy with his marriage. His friend tells him that he has lost passion for his wife, and they are just pretending to be in love at this point. This is why they decided to end their marriage. Claire also learns about this divorce, and her friend tells her that she is excited about being single once again, so that she can enjoy little things in life. On their way home, Phil and Claire keep quiet as they think about their own relationship. The next day, Phil comes home to see Claire, who has dressed up for their date night. He likes her effort and decides to take her to New York for a special date. They want to eat at a new seafood restaurant, but they get stuck in traffic and reach there pretty late. The manager makes it clear that they will not get any table without a reservation. Phil tells him that it's their special date night, and he wants to celebrate at this restaurant since Claire likes it. After hearing this, the manager tells them to wait at the bar, and if any table opens up, they can take it. Claire is feeling out of place as she stands among the young couples, but Phil tells her that he will do anything to make this night special for her. Suddenly, he hears someone calling the triple horns, who are apparently not at the restaurant. Phil decides to take their reservation, even though Claire doesn't want to. That evening, they enjoy their expensive but really delicious meal. They're having fun, and Claire even stands behind a famous singer while Phil takes a picture of her. Their fun ends, however, when two men ask them to come outside. Phil thinks that these men work for the restaurant, so he listens to them. The men take the couple outside before grabbing their phones and wallets. This makes Phil and Claire a little scared, and they are terrified when they learn that these men are armed and they are asking for a flash drive. It turns out that the Triple Horns stole the flash drive from a gangster named Mileto, and these men think that Phil and Claire are the Triple Horns since they took their table. Phil tries to clear the misunderstanding, but the men are threatening to shoot Claire. So he says that the drive is in the Central Park. The men believe him, and take the couple to get to the park. While they're driving, Phil and Claire try to open the doors, but they are locked. By the time they reach the park, it's pretty much empty. Phil tells the men the drive is in the boathouse, so they start walking. The boathouse is locked, but the gunmen shoot the lock and ask Phil to get the drive. He knows they are on their own, so he says the drive is hidden in the corner. Claire follows his lead and lies that it's under the floorboards. The gunmen are helping her find it, when Phil hits one of them with a pedal and buries the other one under some rubble. They try to escape in a boat, but it's too slow and they almost get shot. Still, they are far away from the gunmen, so they are able to escape the park. They are scared and Phil is even throwing up. They go to the police station and try to tell Detective Arroyo about everything, but that's when Claire sees that the gunmen are actually police officers. Phil also sees that and freaks out. As soon as Arroyo leaves the room, they both get out of the station. They think that the police are working for Mileto. They also know that they can't go home because the gunmen have their address. So they tell the babysitter to stay for the night while they try to think about getting out of the situation. Phil thinks that they need to get the drive from the real Triple Horns if they want to get rid of these men. He has a plan to find the Triple Horns as well. He takes Claire back to the restaurant where he distracts the receptionist while Claire gets the information about the Triple Horns. She finds a mobile number, and she knows a guy named Holbrook who can locate anyone from a phone number. To get Holbrook's address, she breaks into a realtor's office and starts going through their records. 
Meanwhile, Arroyo and her partner pay Mileto a visit. She asks him why he's after Phil and Claire, but he says he doesn't know anything about them. Back in town, Claire gets Holbrook's address, and she takes Phil to his apartment. Holbrook recognizes her and opens the door. He's a muscle head, and apparently, there was some chemistry between him and Claire. She tells Holbrook about the whole situation and asks for his help since he works in private security. Holbrook is happy to help her because he likes her, and Phil notices that Claire feels happy around him too. Back at the police station, Arroyo's partner tells him that Claire and Phil broke into an office to steal Holbrook's address. The gunmen hear about it and they leave for Holbrook's home. Holbrook, on the other hand, uses some secret database to find the address for Triple Horns. Phil and Claire are about to leave when the gunmen knock on Holbrook's door. Holbrook agrees to distract them so that the couple can escape through his garage. In the garage, Phil decides to steal Holbrook's Audi, since they need to find the Triple Horns quick. However, he soon learns that it's hard to drive a sports car. To make things worse, he gets into an argument with Claire, and she ends up complaining about how she is always stressed out trying to do everything. Phil says that he always tries to help her, so she shouldn't feel alone. They both talk about the divorce of their friends, and they find out that neither of them wants to separate. Still, Phil is worried that one day their marriage will lose its charm, and they will drift apart. After a serious talk, they get to the Triple Horn residence. Since no one is opening the door, Phil helps Claire grab the fire escape ladder, and they use it to reach the apartment. They get in through the window and try to look for the flash drive, but Claire knocks off some books. At the same time, the Triple Horns return and find the couple in their home. Phil is getting punched, but he gets things under control after taking out an antique gun that he stole from Holbrook's place. He tells the Triple Horns everything that happened so far and asks for the drive. But the Triple Horns are a weird couple who is more interested in arguing. However, they are worried when they learn that Mileto's men are chasing Phil and Claire. They give Phil the drive and leave their apartment to get away from all this mess. Their actions confuse Phil, but he's happy to get the drive back. He is about to drive away when the gunmen start shooting at them. Phil tries to fire back, but his gun explodes. He has no choice but to drive away. He is scared and not looking at the road, so he gets into an accident. Their car is struck in a cab. They try to free it, but both vehicles are moving together. Phil is getting shot at, so he starts driving. The gunmen also start chasing them, and this wild chase is causing a lot of chaos. The cab driver is trying to stop the car, so Phil climbs into the taxi and takes the driver's seat. Meanwhile, a lot of police cars are after them to put an end to this dangerous car chase. Phil uses the cab driver's iPad to look at the contents of the flash drive. It turns out that the drive contains some really erotic pictures of District Attorney Crenshaw. He's starting to realize the gravity of the situation, but they are out of time because the police have barricaded the road. They have nowhere to go, but they somehow evade everyone by driving backward. Their cars also get separated after hitting a truck, but the brakes on the taxi are not working, and it slams into the water. Phil manages to get out safely, but he has lost the flash drive. They're both going back to Holbrook's place, when Phil tells Claire what he saw in that flash drive. He explains that Mileto took secret pictures of Crenshaw, and the Triple Horn stole the drive to get some money from Mileto. He has a plan to make everything right again, so he goes back to Holbrook's place, who is mad at them for wrecking his car. Phil tells him that it all happened because he wanted to do something special for the woman he loves, and this strikes a chord with Holbrook, who decides to help him again. Later that night, Phil and Claire go to Mileto's club, Claire says she is a stripper, while Phil is her pimp. The man at the door doesn't believe them, but still allows them to go inside. Claire gets into a stripper's costume and makes her way to Crenshaw's VIP room. Crenshaw allows them both to come inside and asks them to dance for him if they want to stay. Phil knows what kind of stuff Crenshaw likes, so he starts pole dancing with his wife and this intrigues Crenshaw. However, he gets mad when Phil tells him that he has the flash drive. Crenshaw calls the corrupt policemen who take the couple to the terrace. Phil tells him that if they hurt him or his wife, Holbrook will release the contents of the flash drive. Right then, Mileto and his men come up. This is when Phil tells Crenshaw about the erotic pictures that Mileto took. This starts a violent argument between Crenshaw and Mileto. Things are getting out of hand, but Phil is calm and Claire soon learns why. From out of nowhere, Arroyo and her team raid the club 
and take the gunman into custody. It turns out that Phil was wearing a wire for her, and he recorded the exchange between Mileto and Crenshaw. The film ends with Phil and Claire having breakfast at a diner, where Phil tells her that even though her marriage has some rough days, he still wouldn't change anything about it. After that, they go home and make love on their front porch.